what's going on guys got a video today just covering my shield which as you can see looks a little bit different to it has looked on my previous shield videos and what your shield will look like if you haven't done this yourself and that's basically because i have rooted and installed a custom rom so there are two ways to root or the, well there's one way to root or there's two ways to run your device as a rooted device the first way is to root and keep the stock android lean back launcher which is the launcher that you've seen in all my other videos the launcher that you see when you open a shield from its box plug it in that's your stock launcher lean back launcher second option which is the option i've gone for is to root and then install a custom rom using custom recovery basically this is android 5.1 stock android rom just looks like a big tablet basically so i want to get a disclaimer in first before we start showing you what exactly you get from this and that is you follow this process at your own risk there are people out there who know all about rooting who probably don't even need to watch this video and have already rooted and know what you can get but there's also people out there who are curious about it i was that person so i seen a, a video uploaded to my sub box i will leave it down below and that basically shows you the full root process on how you do it um the guy who I've, has uploaded this video is also the guy i think who has created the app um app converter tool which i covered a couple of weeks ago so i do recommend giving him a subscribe to on your youtube simply because he's always uploading useful videos always covering everything to do with shield um whether it's a shield tablet or the shield tv he's always uploading stuff so i do recommend subscribing to him he's got a great channel and he also has a website so i will leave that all down below and i'll also leave a link to the forum post on xda developers site which has the instructions and all the files you need to install the custom rom which i'm running i do want to say if you're going to go ahead and take this on and root your device please watch the videos please read the forums first and make sure you completely understand the process because if you make a mistake it could be a deadly one and you'll end up just with a bricked device that's nothing more useful than a paperweight so i just want to add that i don't want to be seeing comments down below saying oh i've rooted my device but i bricked it i've done something wrong if you're new to all this make sure you take your time learning taking in all the information even if it takes you a week to to re-watch the videos and read everything wait that week and then do it when you feel confident you know what you're doing so first thing that i've been asked when i'm running this is are there any disadvantages do i lose any features and yes you do there's two disadvantages first disadvantage is the green light on the top of the shield which shows you that the device is powered on that will consistently stay on even when you put the device to sleep so the only way to turn that light off is to actually power off the device now i just downloaded this power menu tool from the play store which requires root um, so if I want the light to go off and I want to power it off completely I just select this select power off you also get a reboot option as well if you let the device go to sleep the light will stay on the device will still go to sleep as it would if the light went off on a stock shield but the green light will stay on it only goes off when you power off the device now when you power off the device you cannot just wake it up or power it back on by selecting a button on your controller you have to physically touch the power button on the shield and then you get your, your, your device to come back on that's the first thing the second thing which will be the big one for most people and that is the wireless and video games controller no longer works as a wireless games controller you have to manually plug in the micro usb 
into the back of the shield and then plug that into your controller and um, use it as a wired controller. It doesn't work wirelessly. The reason for this, I believe, is simply because NVIDIA have the drivers locked down so well for this controller that the creator of this ROM can't get access to them, can't find them anywhere, so we can't include them in the ROM so that the controller can pair up. I believe that's the only reason, but I don't know. So you could go ahead and root your device and run it as stock and just basically unlock your bootloader and have access to root apps. That's one option or you can use the option that I'm going to show you today and that's basically have a full Android device. First thing that I'm going to cover which is a big reason why I rooted and that is to get the full Android Play Store. Now as you can see it is exactly the full Android Play Store. It's not the Lean Back Launcher Android TV Play Store. It has its ad its advantages and its disadvantages. Now, its advantages are fairly obvious. You get the full access to the Play Store, access to all the apps, access to um, movies, TV, books and all that good stuff. The disadvantages is there is a tool needed when rooted on certain devices called the market helper and from what i can gather online the creator of this tool is no longer supporting or developing it at the moment so basically there isn't a compatible version with it for the shield now what that tool would normally do is enable you to trick the play store into thinking you are running for instance a nexus 6 which is compatible with all apps the play store would recognize your device as a nexus 6 or a nexus 7 galaxy s6 whatever it is you selected from the menu and it would enable you to have all apps compatible and downloadable but as i don't have that compatible for this device i cannot get that to work I do have a few issues acquiring some apps. Now, for instance, I'm going to show you here, for example, the WWE Network. As you can read there, it reads, your device isn't compatible with this version. And that's because I do not have the market um, tool installed, the market helper tool. So to get the WWE Network, all that I'd done was used an app on my tablet called APK Extractor, ran that, saved the WWE Network app, uploaded it to Dropbox, then installed it from Dropbox on the Shield to my um, memory. I now have the WWE Network, only I didn't get it from the Play Store. It's running as it would run on my tablet or any other Android device, completely fine. That's the only the, the, the downside to the Play Store at the minute. Hopefully we get an update for the market helper tool someday and it will become a little bit of an easy process. 90% of the apps that I have installed on this have come from the Play Store. It's just the odd few that I've had to install through Dropbox. So that sums up the Play Store. The last thing that I do want to say about the Play Store is you do get um, app updates. I will just show you now for instance there is an update for that I'm gonna go ahead and update it as you can see it's updating there updating Evernote so that's a plus as well so we've got the Play Store out of the way the next thing that I'm gonna very very briefly cover is Coda and basically all I'm gonna cover with that because it's a little bit of a sore subject at the minute is it works exactly the way as it worked on my stock um, NVIDIA Shield. I've had no differences, there's no advantages, no disadvantages, it just works exactly the same. I'm gonna go to my NAS device and I'm gonna play something I have stored on network storage. I'm just gonna play a mover. I'll go ahead and play a mover, just so you know. Everything's working as it should. No no difference at all with Kodia so 
I don't really have to cover it any more than what I just have. That's that's it. I just want you to show people that you do not lose any features from that because I know a lot of people have a shield for that exact reason. So we've got two things out of the way which are what most people um, would be interested in. I'm now going to cover the game inside and I'm going to use the little controller that I've shown you at the start. Um, we'll jump into an emulator first and then I will show you a stock Android game that I downloaded from the Play Store just to show you that both do work. We'll jump in and we'll play a little bit of Sonic. As you can see, I'm using this controller. Select any button to continue. I did have to map this with this certain app simply because it runs emulators and you have to map your controllers with them anyway so yeah i did have to map them as you can see all my buttons are working fine no um issue running the emulator no lag or anything like that i do have this selected to play in full screen mode which also hasn't been an issue i've had no performance issues by stretching it out and playing it in full screen mode I'm not going to play too much more of this, but I just want people to see that this controller does in fact work. And it is a good replacement for the NVIDIA Shield um, wireless controller. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller, so if you do have big A pans, you want to get something different. But other than that, everything works fine. I'm just going to go ahead and quit this now. And we will check out... A stock Android game we will jump into a little bit of real racing just wait for that to load up As you can see at the bottom, it has detected my controller. Um, I'm just going to ignore that update for now because I just want to jump into the game. Um, we will just jump into this. Let it do a little bit of a download. As you can see, I'm skipping through all the menus here. I'm just going to quickly buy this so we can get into a race. And there we go. It's now loading up for a race. I was man I managed to navigate my way through all of those menus just using this controller with no issues. And I'm now going to race this race with this controller. Um, I'm just going to ignore all that. And there we go we've got a race going on i'm moving this with the controller i'm accelerating with the controller very badly but you get my gist all controls work without a problem So yeah, I'm going to quit this, um, I think that covers everything for gaming, um, as I said, um, the controller, the wireless controller working for me was not an issue at all, and actually I do have one more thing to show from the gaming side, and that is when I can close that bloody app. And that is that the shield hub works exactly as it should. Looks a little bit different. As you can see, it's not set up for the Android TV. 
it's set up for a tablet but as you can see everything is here all the games are here the shops here and the pc stream is here i don't have my pc switched on at the minute so i can't show you that it does work but it does work i, I personally avoid using the little bluetooth controller when i'm playing this mode and i plug in my xbox 360 afterglow wired controller and just use that it's got a really long lead on it so that ain't a problem and that's about it for the gaming side it there's no difference in gaming other than if you really like the nvidia wireless controller you can't use it wirelessly anymore but there's no other faults other than that so next up i don't think there's really anything more that i can show you there's apps such as titanium backup which i use to back up my whole rom and the whole setup including all the apps and everything so as i say if i ever do need to reinstall the rom or factory reset my device i can just grab my backup and reinstall it and i've got everything set up exactly the way it is now don't have to spend the time setting it all back up again um you can i do have the pro version of this so you can back it up to dropbox as well which is a really good um feature to have because i don't think there's anyone who doesn't use dropbox today um we've got apps like showbox that work which obviously work um normally anyway for apps such as for the shield that's standard without root and without the custom launcher we've got this working and because i've got the air mouse it's just so much easier to navigate around showbox and the same with plex um got all my, my normal apps that i would run on the non-rooted shield but just able to use them so much easier the last thing that i do want to show you actually is an app called folder mount and basically what this does is i can move my data so as you can see i'm pretty much full almost i'm 95 percent full on my internal 16 gigabyte memory you can analyze your apps and check for which ones are taking up the most space so i've got real racing which is taking up one gigabyte of space with this folder mount i can mount this game to my external hard drive move the app and all of its data to the external hard drive that i've got plugged in which i also have all my roms on i've got like four thousand roms on there and i can move everything over to that mount it and then basically run it from my external hard drive with no issues i do need to go ahead and do that with all my apps um which i will probably do over the weekend but yeah that sums up the video um i don't think i missed anything out that anyone asked me about i don't think i've missed oh um you got apps such as team viewer which work um i also use an app called transdroid which for me i have a seed box and basically um, when I don't want to turn my PC on, I can jump on Google Chrome and jump on a torrent site and download what exactly it is that I want. And I can download it through Transdroid. Then I can just transfer it to my exter my NAS device, sorry, using ES File Explorer. I have that set up with the cloud and LAN connections and all that good stuff. That about sums up everything. I hope I've covered um, enough to show you exactly what running this will bring you and the disadvantages to that. If there is anything I've missed out that you'd like to know about, let me know down below and I will answer your question. 
Um, as I said, all the links will be down below as well in the description for anyone who wants to try this out. Just, as I say, reminder of that disclaimer. Only do it if you feel confident. And um, yeah, that about sums it up. Thanks for watching.